Tadpole's Promise by Jeannie Willis is a wonderful picture book that was nominated for a Golden Archer Award during the 2007-2008 school year. Let's share this fun book together, but first, let's review how caterpillars grow up into beautiful butterflies and how tadpoles grow up to be frogs. Butterflies, like beetles, go through a complete four-stage metamorphosis as they develop from egg to adult. In the spring, the female swallowtail searches for plants on which to lay her eggs. She lays them one at a time onto the plant's leaves. The butterfly's second stage of development is the larva. We call butterfly larvae caterpillars. The caterpillars develop inside the eggs for about a week. Then they begin chewing their way out. After wriggling out of the eggs, the caterpillars are hungry, and often the first thing they eat is the egg shell itself. Then it's off to look for some tasty green leaves. As the caterpillars eat and grow, their hard skins or exoskeletons soon are stretched to the bursting point. Now it emerges, wearing a brand new skin. Next, the insect will enter its pupil stage. To do that, the caterpillar searches for a suitable twig. It will fasten itself to the twig by spinning a safety belt of silken threads. The caterpillar begins to shed its skin for the last time. When the old skin splits apart, the pupa emerges. At first, the pupa's outer surface is fairly soft, but it soon develops into a hard shell. Inside the pupa, there's a lot of activity going on as the body structure of the caterpillar changes to that of the adult butterfly. This process will take about three weeks. Now, the pupal shell splits apart. The butterfly extends its legs and antennae out of the shell. Once its legs are strong enough, the butterfly pulls itself out of the pupal shell. At this point, its body is soft and wrinkled looking, but all its organs are fully developed. The sunlight has dried its wings. The swallowtail spreads them for the first time. Did you know that some animals start life looking one way and then go through changes that make them look another way as adults? No. It's true. For example, a frog? That's right. Frogs are amphibians. They spend part of their lives in water and part on land. Frogs lay their eggs in a pond. The eggs have a soft shell. They must be kept wet so that they don't dry out. Then the eggs hatch into tadpoles. The tadpoles are baby frogs. Tadpoles don't look anything like frogs. That's true. Tadpoles live only in the water. A tadpole has a tail and no legs. They swim like fish and breathe with gills. It eats plants from the water. As the tadpole grows, it starts to change. It grows legs, loses its tail, and loses its gills. Now, the tadpole looks like a very small frog. It can leap onto land or swim in the water. The frog breathes with lungs instead of gills. And it eats bugs instead of plants. Soon, the small frog grows into an adult frog. It can lay eggs now, eggs that will hatch into new tadpoles. Tadpole's Promise is written by Jeannie Willis and illustrated by Tony Ross. Where the willow meets the water, a tadpole met a caterpillar. They gazed into each other's tiny eyes and fell in love. She was his beautiful rainbow and he was her shiny black pearl. I love everything about you, said the tadpole. I love everything about you, said the caterpillar. Promise you'll never change. I promise, he said. But as sure as the weather changes, the tadpole could not keep his promise. Next time they met, he had grown two legs. You've broken your promise, said the caterpillar. Forgive me, begged the tadpole. I couldn't help it. I don't want these legs. 
All I want is my beautiful rainbow. All I want is my shiny black pearl. Promise me you'll never change, said the caterpillar. I promise, he said, but sure as the seasons change. The next time they met, he had grown arms. That's twice you've broken your promise, cried the caterpillar. Forgive me, begged the tadpole. I could not help it. I do not want these arms. All I want is my beautiful rainbow. And all I want is my shiny black pearl. I will give you one last chance, said the caterpillar. But as surely as the world changes, the tadpole could not keep his promise. The next time they met, he had no tail. You have broken your promise three times, and now you have broken my heart, said the caterpillar. But you are my beautiful rainbow, said the tadpole. Yes, but you are not my shiny black pearl. Goodbye, she crawled up the willow branch and cried herself to sleep. One warm moonlit night, she woke up. The sky had changed. The trees had changed. Everything had changed, except for her love for the tadpole. Even though he'd broken his promise, she decided to forgive him. She dried her wings and fluttered down to look for him. Where the willow meets the water, a frog was sitting on a lily pad. Excuse me, she said. Have you seen my shiny black? But faster than she could say pearl, the frog leapt up and swallowed her in one great gulp. And there he waits thinking fondly of his beautiful rainbow and wondering where she went.